Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am No Face Guy, and today is actually me opening up about something. Um, no, the, the only other mental illness that I have, which is my depression. Specifically, I have situational depression, which means that in certain situations, like in certain stressful situations or times where I'm going through something really hard, I will basically just lose any motivation to exist and I'll feel just unmotivated, not happy at all, and it could even get to the point where my thoughts just spiral. It's kind of hard to explain somewhat, and I've been struggling with it for a while, and I'm just starting, and I just feel ready to open up now about it, and like tell, talk about my experiences with it and what I've gone through about it. So I guess I should go back to the very first time I actually went into a depressive, epi depressive episode. This was before I got diagnosed and before I knew hello no face, and before I knew about really anything I had apart from anxiety. This was back in fourth grade, and at the time I was going through a lot of stuff that I'm not really ready to go through, apart from the fact that I was being bullied pretty badly at that point. And everything that was going on from that time all just combined, and I fell into a depressive episode. And from what I can remember is that I always felt sad and just like, alone that's basically how i can describe it from back then and it went on for the entire school year too from what i can remember at least and that was the first pretty severe depression i went through and it got better during the summer between my fourth and fifth grade year at that time and, yeah, I mean, bullying at that time didn't stop, of course, but I was at least feeling better emotionally and mentally. And then, fast forward maybe a few years, like seventh grade, that was the year that my grandmother had passed away. And, as... Harsh as a person she was during my elementary years, as an abusive. I'm not going to get into that, though, because I kind of don't remember almost the entire thing of it, but hey. Um, and I still, like, she was still my grandmother, and I felt really sad because I was remembering only the good things. Um, and then the bullying from that year got was really bad like severe verbal bullying and that kind of all came to a head and like i didn't exactly feel depressed at that point at least i don't i think i was more numb than anything else and my thoughts from that year were really bad as in, at that time, I had ended up relapsing for the first time in a while, at that time. Relapsing in self-harm, at that time. So, that sucked. Of course. And then, in December of that year, I tried to off myself. Of course, I'm still here, so obviously, it didn't work. And it's funny now, saying this, but, like, my height saved me. My height stopped me. Um, so, yeah. Kind of funny now to say it, but back then it was, like, huh, kind of annoying. Nowadays it's funny to just say, my height saved me. So, 
anyways. Um, continuing. And then, actually, the very next year, I went into a, another severe depressive episode. Up to the point where, like, I always, I felt extremely sad, extremely hopeless, just, like, and I wanted to, I, to be blunt, I wanted to go off myself again. And I had an entire plan at the time, too. Of course, that plan has long since been forgotten, happily enough. So, that's good. And that depressive episode ended up lasting until COVID hit us. So, fun. And, uh, yeah. And, quick backtrack, the 7th grade one lasted for pretty much that entire year, I think. At least the numbness, I think. I, I honestly don't really remember that too well, because I honestly don't know what I was feeling at that point. But I know it definitely was not nothing, was not anything good. And then, 9th and 10th grade, I'm just gonna combine here, because it, that was like a bunch of little depressive episodes. Like, little as in like... How do I ex- how? Little as in like, they were... Very bad lows, I guess. Like, emotional lows. Can you count them as depressive episodes? I don't know, but A. Anyways, within the ninth grade year, I felt pretty good until, like, the middle to end of that year because I started getting pretty severely bullied. And if you were to watch my old video- some of my old vlogs, you would know more. So, if you want to, you can go back to those. I think they're- up to one to two years ago now. I can't really, like, just go back and find them, I guess. That's about all I can say there. And you'll get more context of that, as I'm not going to go into it at the moment. But that sent me into uh, some relapses and self-harm, and, and my thoughts spiraled as well. And I also just felt sad and didn't really want to... Sad as in, like, like, it wasn't gonna stop. And as far as I've known, it, 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 as in the bullying, not just from the same person, because the same person dissipated. I don't know where they went, because honestly, I don't care anymore, because good. I don't gotta see her anymore, so that's good. Um, and, so, yeah. I kind of lost my thought process. Whoops. My train of thought went off somewhere. I don't know where it went. Um, anyways, I'm just going to continue on to 10th grade. Anyways, 10th grade was, well, again, through my vlogs from that year, you would probably know. And if you want to go back and watch those, they're more recent. Maybe, like, uh, just under half a year to a year ago now. So, yeah. If you want to go watch those, then go watch them, and you'll get more context from what happened that year. Um, of what I can remember, because my, I can't exactly remember about the entirety of that year. Because my brain is not, did not want to process it. So, fun. But anyways, and that fun was sarcastic, for anyone questioning. And, anyways... So, yeah, I went into a good chunk of depressive episodes from that year because of all the hellfire I was going to because of bullying. And, yeah, it was not fun. It was not fun at all. Especially since I cannot remember that most of that year now. But I'm not going to get into that yet. Because, not that I'm not ready, it's just that it's like I want to at least be able to gain some of that memory back if I can before I start talking about it, so. Anyways, now this year, I've gone through a couple depressive episodes, including one at the very start of the school year where I was, like, extremely anxious about my future, and then that anxiety turned into depressive episode because I lost motivation to do anything, and really didn't even want to get out of bed. I didn't want to do anything at all. 
I had no motivation to do anything. And I didn't really want to exist either. Not that I wanted to die, I just wanted to cease existence. That's the exact same thing. Is that the exact same thing? You know, whatever. So, yeah. That's basically my experiences with situational depression. As in, all these times were caused by, like, really bad events that's gone on in my life. And some, in some cases, just my mental health is having a big old dip. So, uh, that's about it for this video. So, I will see y'all later. Bye.